Oh, D1NZ round four. We're just coming off the back of um, you know an epic event uh, at, at Tauranga for us. It was you know, su such a good event for us. We um, qualified second uh, and placed fifth overall in the end, which is probably one of the best results we've had in D1NZ Pro. So um, you know, it was just good for our spirit and um, you know momentum boosting. And went off the back of that, tried to take that sort of you know momentum into um, D1NZ round four. And you know, it wasn't the case for us. Uh, we got there and just had multiple issues with the car just the gremlins were everywhere and that was you know it was just you know everyone has those events where something goes wrong or it's just not working for them and that was our turn so uh, yeah we just had heaps of troubles with the car the diff was opening up because we run a, a, a LSD shim uh, diff it just started to one wheel on us and yeah went for about two of those uh, then once we sussed that we started to break tie rods just because you know, I was starting to feel confident going into the first corner and um, yeah, just threw it as hard as I could and with max aggression and yeah, just kept breaking, breaking tire rods and bending them. So um, yeah, I think that resulted in like about six laps of, you know, decent track time that we got. So no, it's never ideal, especially since we're trying to set the car up at such, you know, a high level to compete with everyone in pro. You need, you need that time to dial it in and, um, you know, really get a good setup for it. So um, not having any laps really you know, affected us. Um, so yeah, coming into qualifying, it was the same sort of story. We you know weren't happy with where the car was, and um, you know just we're still trying to get a setup dialed in for it. So yeah, it came down, um, threw it as hard as I could, and yeah, we got the first corner like perfect, and then over the hill, it you know, just it was just too grippy, and yeah, the thing just you know it was hard to get out to that second clip where it needs to really you know be flowing and to make that second clip so um, I think that's where it let us down and I think overall we qualified about mid-pack about 16th which is you know not not first but you know it was enough to get us into um, you know through to the main event to the battles so um, yeah we just went through um, we got placed up against Phil Sutherland in the top 32 and um, you know we started to get the setup a little bit better I uh, had the chase lead up first since I you know qualified lower than him and um, you know I just stuck it to him as best as I could and yeah, I thought I did a pretty good job with the chase, and then on the lead, um, yeah, same thing. I, I did my best and I pulled a bit of a gap on him, but same thing. Over the hill, won both runs. It's just too grippy, um, and you know, wasn't able to get the you know perfect line or something that I was happy with. But um, yeah, no, that's fine. We got knocked out from there, uh, which is fair enough. And you know, hats off to Phil. He did, you know, he did the job, and you know, it is what it is. But um, you know, just move on from that. And we're looking at you know, do you want to do round five now? So. It should be a good event. Ruapuna is a sick track down there. It's just long, flowing. You get like two laps if you're lucky to, to a set of tyres. So um, yeah, it sounds good. Um, we've been there before and loved it. We qualified first and finished second overall last time we were there in Ruapuna. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to it, man. It's just a foot flat course, lots of smoke, lots of speed, and it makes for some good battles. So bring it on. Hopefully we can do the damage. Yelp, we good. Oh, my God.